hope you all are fine today we are going to learn about bone joints and muscles both these are very important for us because they help us in our body movement so we have to learn more about it okay let's go through the chapter joints and muscles children we know our bones are very hard and stiff but we can still move our body how is it possible this is possible because of the presence of joints between our bones then what is joint a joint is a place where two or more bones are joined with each other and bones are held together at a joint by strong elastic fiber called ligaments children our skeleton has two types of joints fixed joints and movable joints the joints where no movement of bone is possible are called fixed joint The skull joints are fixed and do not allow any movement. Then the movable joints. Movement is possible in these joints. There are four types of movable joints in our body. Hinge joint, pivot joint, gliding joint and ball and socket joint. hinge joint this joint is similar to the hinges in a door because they allow the movement in one direction only the knee joint and the elbow joint are the example for the hinge joint the next one pivot joint The skull joins the backbone at a pivot point. This joint helps us to move our head sideways, upwards and downwards. The pivot joints are also present between the bones of the forearm. Now, gliding joint. Gliding joints exist between the bones in the wrist and ankle. and also between the vertebra of the spine they make it possible as to bend our back twist and turn and such joints also exist between the ribs and the breast bone then the next one is ball and socket joint in this joints The end of the one bone is shaped like a ball. The end of the other bone shaped like a cup or socket. The ball end neatly fits into the socket. The ball and socket joint allow the movement in all directions. For example, shoulder joint and hip joint. The ball and socket joint allow the movement in all directions. But the hinge joint they allow the movement in one direction only. Pivot joint help us to move our heads sideways, upwards and downwards. Gliding joints make it possible for us to bend our back, twist and turn. Then the fixed joints does not move or very little movement now we are going to learn about cartilage the stiff but flexible substance which present on the surface of the bones 
where the joints with other bones are called cartilage. The cartilage prevents the bones from wearing out because of rubbing against each other. Cartilage also present in the body parts such as external ear and nose where they help in give them a definite shape. Now we are going to learn about muscles. Muscles are fleshy bundles of thin elastic materials that help bones and joints to move. And muscles are attached to the bones with the help of strong fibers called tendons. Children, there are two types of muscles, that is voluntary muscles and involuntary muscles. Muscles that are under our control are called voluntary muscles. That means we can control their movement. These are called voluntary muscles. The muscles of our arms and legs are example for voluntary muscles. But some muscles in our body cannot be controlled by us. These are called involuntary muscles. The muscles in the digestive system and the ones that make our eyes blink are example for the involuntary muscles. Then a special type of muscle present in our heart is cardiac muscles. Its speciality is it works all the time but never gets tired. Children, how the muscles work? Muscles usually work in pairs by contracting and relaxing. Contracting means becoming shorter and relaxing means returning to normal size. When we lift an object and bring it towards our shoulder, the muscles at the front of the arm that is biceps contract while the muscles at the back of the arms that is triceps relax. And when we bring the object back to its original position, the biceps relax and the triceps contract. Children, we must care our bones and muscles, so we should always maintain good posture to avoid unnecessary stress to the bones and joints. And also, we should eat food rich in calcium and proteins to keep our bones and muscles healthy. And one more thing, we should expose our body to sunlight regularly because vitamin D is beneficial for our bones. The sunlight help our body to make vitamin D. Children, now we are coming to the summary, okay? A joint is a place where two or more bones are joined with each other. Bones are held together at a joint by strong elastic fibers called ligaments. There are four types of movable joints in our body. Hinge joint, pivot joint, gliding joint, ball and socket joint. The stiff but flexible substance which present on the surface of bones where they joins with other bones are called cartilage. 
Muscles are fleshy bundles of thin elastic material that help bones and joints to move. Muscles are attached to the bones with the help of strong fibers called tendons. Muscles that are under our control are called voluntary muscles. Some muscles in our body cannot be controlled by us. These are called involuntary muscles. We should always maintain good posture to avoid unnecessary stress to the bones and joints. Hello, okay, children. See you all for the next class. Bye.